courage in saying that um, you know that they're looking at all possibilities and being very thorough. And uh, it's an excellent example of collaboration between both the British and the Portuguese uh, police working together, ultimately to try and solve the case of Madeleine and what's happened to her. Yeah, I mean we've got an, we've got an excellent relationship with the Portuguese police, and we meet frequently. Um, and the flow of information has been been great. Actually, it's been very reassuring. They, they very much know that you know we like frank information, and it's much easier for us to deal with when we do that. And uh, you know we were well aware that uh, these developments were going to happen. We were informed informed in advance. So, um, but naturally, you know, this length of time, uh, we are desperate to find Madeline. That's a key thing. Of course. Um, it's difficult, but we expect the same thoroughness and to be treated the same way as anyone else who has been in and around this, and we wouldn't expect it any other way. We're not naive, uh, but on numerous occasions the Portuguese police uh, have assured us that they were looking for Madeline alive and not, uh, you know, Madeline being murdered, and I don't know of any information that's changed that. Of course, uh, the information and the way the investigation is going is, is about thoroughness and, uh, and making sure that everyone is as confident of, as possible that that is the case. Um, Kate and I strongly believe that Madeline was alive uh, when she was taken from the apartment. Obviously what we don't know is what happened to her afterwards, who's taken her and what her motive is and we're desperate to find that out. And as Jerry's just said there, even last week when we met with the police, they said we are looking for a living child. And they've said that a lot, so... I'm yeah. really sorry that you've been misled, but like you've been said, I'm not guilty. Kate and Jerry McKen have both been today declared a widow. I'm not